diagram accurately reflects the conditions of the problem. We have this hill that is at a five degree angle to the horizontal. And we're constructing this 500 foot tower on the hill. The assumption is that the uh, this tower is perpendicular to the horizontal as opposed to perpendicular to the hill. Uh, and we want to find the length of these two guy wires that are attached to the hill 100 feet above and below the base of the tower. <clears throat> uh, we want to find the length, which I've designated as A and B. Now let's see if we could find maybe these angles right here, that one, and this one. We could probably use the law of cosines to find A because we have two sides and an included angle in both cases. So let's see what we've got. We've got a right triangle here where the, one of the acute angles is 5 degrees, that makes this 85. And that means this is 85 right here. But the angle with this, that's 85 right here, this angle with two marks on it has to be supplementary. Uh, which means what? 95? 95 plus 85 is 180. So I think that's what you need right there is that you, you're solving a triangle where you have two sides and an included angle. And we can find A using the law of cosines. A squared equals one of the sides squared plus the other side squared minus two times one of the sides times the other side mm, I wonder if we're going to run out of room here times the cosine of the included angle which is 95 degrees I'm going to get a copy of that because I have a feeling that Wise Ant might cover that up. So I'll move it down here. There's the law of cosines for A. So you calculate this, take the square root of both sides, and you should have A. And this 95 degree angle has to be the largest angle of the triangle. So my guess is that A will be greater than 500. And uh, set up the same for B. B squared equals 100 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 times 100 times 500 times the cosine of 85. Uh, there you go. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to do the calculation.